What is up guys, it's your boy Melo for Left Bits if you are easy without wasting any time let me show you what I always do before I export my mix for mastery Let me play the mix without the things I do before exporting for mastering this is the mix. I'm sure you can hear the mix is fine. Before I export everything and move to the mastering stage, I always use the visual tape machines just to get that warm sound, that warm saturation sound. The Slate Digital Visual Tape Machine is so fire. The default preset is super good. Let us listen to the mix now. This is without it. I'm sure you can feel that saturation, that warm sound uh, on the mid and on the low end. It's it's kind of warm and the mix sounds more interesting right now. Uh, the next thing you can use is the VMR. On the VMR, just remove everything and use the VCC channel. Use the USA drive around three. Let us listen to that. Sounds fire. Uh, the last plugin you can use is a compressor. We're gonna use this one. Let me look for these presets. We're gonna use this mix squasher preset, but we're gonna use it in parallel. Yeah. Mess around with the mix knob here. Um, you can also push the threshold for more glue. Then you can export your track for mastering. Yes, uh, let me bypass this thing without it. Super interesting, super interesting. Then you can export your track. File, export, wave. Yay, kanda, kanda, kanda. That's right. That's right. Just make sure um, the settings are like this. High quality for all plugins. Uh, resampling 512. Uh, disable my yeah, yeah yeah then you can start exporting i hope this video was helpful guys i hope you also apply that thing before you master your tracks yeah my love for you I'm not gonna